welcome to another episode. Now, the whole point today is hopefully knock out some airbag repair. So let's pull the vehicle out into the sunlight. And let's see if we can accomplish what we need to do here. So you can clearly see airbag light is on. Now this scan tool I have shown before, I'll link it below in case you do want to check it out. But we want to, let me jump into a screen recorder so you guys can see this better. And let's scan the system here. So let's jump into system selection. And we have the supplemental inflatable restraint. Read the fault code. And there we go. So B0058, B0059, right front pretensioner. That's this guy right here. So we need to, first I want to test it. Let's move the seat back. I'm going to unbolt it and disconnect the car battery and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. Okay, so let's remove the dongle here. Like I said, really nice scan tool. It also does bi-directional commands. So it's, I just, it's one of my favorite ones that I have at home. Now on this 05 CTSV, sort of interesting, just the rear of the seat have fasteners. So a fastener here, another fastener there. The front are, they're clipped in, they have these hooks. So you just lift the seat up and pull back. Now, of course, these are going to be really tight. And if you're not using an impact or a breaker bar, there's still a workaround. So in this case, it's a T50 fastener. Then I have a socket, half inch drive socket, and then an extension. This allows me a lot more leverage to get this out. Okay. Now the way that this works, there are clips on the front. <clears throat> so we're just gonna lift it up. Yeah. There we go, like that. Oh boy, tilt this back. Okay, yellow is your airbag. So let me just set this up here. And this is a removable zip tie these are great to have in the garage really nice these are cheap too i'll uh i'll link them below if you guys want to check them out So clearly I've removed the seat. It's just a little too cumbersome trying to film and not even that complete the repair while the seat is in the vehicle. Now, before we go on to the next step, I want to verify, I want to triple check that this is an issue because these are not cheap used. That's this being a 20 year old vehicle. They don't make these parts anymore. Used, I found one for 90 bucks, but I want to verify it. So if we look up here, this is your airbag, airbag controller, but we have two sets of wires. One is for the side airbag, the other one is for the pretensioner. So which one is which? I don't know, so let's test it. So I apologize for the audio right now. I'm using a camcorder because the action cams are not very good at zooming in. So what I want to show you guys. All right, the first thing is this can separate. There's a little tab back here. Okay, so if you press up, it separates the two. Okay, like that. Let me zoom out. Now, if you look closely, there's actually a shorting. Okay, there's a shorting bar in here. So if you try to take a reading with this bar, you're not going to see anything whatsoever. You have to remove this first. So on the back, again, there's a little tab. Okay. You just press up this tab. You know, you're getting old when everything's a little blurry, but I can, there we go. Okay. So you have to remove this first. Now, Mr. Multimeter, gosh, I've shown these so many times over the years. 
25 bucks or so, I'll link it below in case you do need one. You want the ohm setting, okay? That's the omega symbol. All right. Let me see if I can sort of set this up so you guys can see this at the same time. Now, now a good reading is around 2 ohms. 2 ohms is a good number. So I'm just taking the leads from the multimeter and touching one black lead to the prong here and then the red lead, hold on, on the other guy. You can buy test leads, which I've shown before, but in this case, we can do it. Here we go. So watch the meter. We have 2.1 ohms, okay? I'm happy with that. That's a good reading. So now I want to check this guy. Now when you're done, make sure you reinsert that clip, okay? So same with this guy now, we want to test this, so we have to remove the grounding clip. Okay, this comes out. And once again, make sure you guys can see this with the multimeter. Super easy. There's no reason why you can't do this at home. Very easy. The hardest part is really removing the seat. And here we go. Watch the meter. Wow. Hold on. There we go. 16, 17 mega ohms. That is way too high, way, way too high. So, like I said, if my analysis is correct, this wire is running to the pretensioner. So I know sometimes looking at the multimeter, it's a little boring, but uh, take my word for it. You do the work yourself. You'll save tens of thousands of dollars over the long term, just working and maintaining your own vehicle. So let's start by removing this cover. You'll find really strong clips on the opposite end. You want to be really careful when it comes to these parts because, again, 20 years old, they don't make these parts anymore. And, you know, finding them is just becoming more and more difficult. Then we have a fastener right here. Now, this is a 21 mil. The problem is I don't have a stubby socket. So I have to use my impact which is not a big deal. Uh, most of you have impacts, but if you don't, you want to be really careful. Okay. There we go. So it looks like we're on the right track. Right here, you see this safety clip? Okay, that's how you remove this but we see a black and a white wire. This harness connector, which has the black and the white wire, is where we saw the 20 mega ohm reading. So we're on the right track. It's leading to the pretensioner. So just disconnect this harness connector and then this loom, if we follow it, leads to right here, this guy. So I just have to disconnect that, disconnect this, this comes off, install, which I've already purchased. This was around 85 bucks used online. And we'll place the seat back in the vehicle and let's test it. That is fantastic. So let's get this reinstalled and see what the computer says. Okay, the seat is back in. Moment of truth. I'm not going to start it, just turn the ignition key. Let's see what's what here. All right, awesome. It's off. Let's just start the card to triple check. Oh, get the 
a seat back here. That's it. It's off. Fantastic. So we're in good shape, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. You've learned something. A lot of the stuff you can do at home. Save the cash, man. See you next time.